Hello everyone, I'm Corey Rumba and welcome to Arbor Point's Children's Moment. Before we get started, I want you to think about what your biggest fear is. Some common fears in children are fears of the dark, storms, being separated from parents, teachers who yell or show disappointment in them, tests, grades, their, their peers not liking them. And it's not just children. Adults have fears too. Our fears are very large motivators. Our fears cause us to do all sorts of things or hinder us from doing things. And today we're going to look in the Bible and see what it says about fear. Moses had been the voice of God to the Hebrews and the Egyptians to let God's people go from Egypt. Moses was the human leader that people looked to as the Hebrews wandered the wilderness for 40 years. And just before entering into the promised land, Moses dies and Joshua takes over. Now Joshua had a great cause to be afraid. He was following in the footsteps of a great leader. Everyone looked toward Moses. And I bet he heard lots of rumbling because the Israelites were known for rumbling. Moses didn't do it that way. If only Moses were here. And on top of those negative voices, he was to lead the people into a land that was already being lived in. The promised land was occupied, but he didn't let his fear stop him. Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 through 9 says, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. No one will be able to stand against you all your days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Be strong and courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now in these verses, we see three things that tell us how to handle our fears. And the first one is, God wants us to act. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. That means you have to set your foot there first. Literally. If we don't trust God, then we're not living in faith. We may have fears, but God tells us to take a step in spite of our fears. If we let fears of inadequacy, failure, or looking bad keep us from acting, then our fears dictate our behavior. God wants us to act. And the second one is, God's laws are designed for our benefit. Verse 8 says, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. The idea behind God's laws is that they are there for our benefit. God, who wants what is best for us and knows us best, gives us his laws because they are there to help us. Get to know God's word because it's there to help us. If we want to break past where the place where fear drives us to a place where God drives us, getting in tune with God's word will help. Now let's look at our verse again. Notice how often it talks about having courage. Three or four times. God is helping Joshua not to be afraid, and part of it is to have courage. Psalm 27.1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength and my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The best response to fear is, is God. God can help us get past all our fears. 
So now think about what you thought your biggest fear was. Is that fear keeping you from serving God? If it is, then it's time to tackle that fear head on. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Thank you for joining this children's moment and I'll see you next week. Bye.